Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have a very interesting family car for you. Uh, it's a premium family car. It's a Kombi. It's one of my favorite Kombi Tourer estate car on the market today. Uh, of course it's expensive but the quality it's incredible. Stay with me until the end of the video and you will see it. And that's the new Mercedes E-Class all-terrain. This is the four-wheel drive. This is the diesel version with 2.9 liter, 330 horsepower. We, I will give you all the technical detail in this video and we will go in the interior, exterior. And um, yeah, as always, you will see at the end of this video, you will know everything about this new E-Class all-terrain combi. So guys, first of all, if you are new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see the notification when a new video will come out. And also, if you want to see the test drive with this new E-Class, uh, I have it already made. Probably it's on the channel. If it's not already yet, just click the subscribe button to see the notification when it's there. And yeah, by the way, before I go inside the car, I want to show you the key right here. I have the key. Uh, it's a pretty light key. It's nice. It's the new key from Mercedes. Also, you can open the trunk from here. Pretty simple. Just by pressing, holding the button a few seconds, the trunk will open. Also, you can close it, of course, uh, also from here. Just press it and release it and then the trunk will close. Quite good quality. Also, when you lock the car, uh, the car come with folding mirrors and also you can have the key in your pocket and then from here, simple, you can unlock the door just like that by having your hands right here. The quality on the doors, Mercedes. I mean, I don't have to say anything more than Mercedes. Even the lines here, look at everything. It's perfectly, the quality is just, just Mercedes. Yeah, anyway. All you have to do is just leave the key here because also the car come with keyless start uh, engine button, by the way. And before we go there, let's talk a little bit about technical details. So we have the Mercedes, the new Mercedes E-Class 400D is the diesel version, all terrain, exclusive 4Matic combi. The 4Matic mean that this car, it's all wheel drive. So we have an amazing grip. You can go off road with the car. I will show you every single detail uh, about the car. Then the color, it's graph and gray. Uh, in the interior, we have uh, Napa leather. Amazing, amazing interior. Uh, amazing quality on the seats. We will see as we go in this video. Also, you have the glass roof. And uh, the fun part is that you have all the prices right here. So as I said, we have the 2.9 liter engine, six cylinders in line, uh, consumption around 8.2, 8.5. 211 co2 uh, it comes with this g-tronic automatic gearbox with nine speed uh, 330 horsepower 700 newton meters uh, the starting price of the car it's 96,900 francs uh, but with all those options right here uh, that you can read it yourself head-up display uh, metallic color napa leather you have ventilated seats and stuff like that uh, the price is 900 and by the way, yeah, you can read it yourself. 20 inch rims, garage door, pack smartphone integration, uh, far assist, driving assist and package premium. Plus with all those options, the price will be 118,000 francs. But if you come here uh, in Switzerland at uh, Tehash Willy, check this out, Tehash Willy. That's a hash. Final price will be 99,900 francs. So great, great discount. If you are in Switzerland, if you are on the market for this car, this is this is the way you should go. Uh, I mean, great price. I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out. Now, 2,275 kilograms. It's a heavy car, but in the test drive, I find out that it feels pretty light, impressive. And yeah, the other information, you already know it. All wheel drive and stuff like that. I will leave this on the side right there and we will start reviewing. I wanna turn on the, the engine for a bit. Here is the start engine button. Turn on the lights as well. And then I wanna show you, I wanna start with the lights first time and then we will go in the interior of the car. So let's close the door, amazing quality. I always love the sound when you close the door. Let's make a tour around the car. The design of the car in the back is very similar with the previous version, but still uh, they use the, the full LED light. Uh, still look pretty, pretty nice. And uh, the fact that they keep that classic look of the Mercedes, the previous E-Class, uh, it make it more 
uh, reliable, I guess. Uh, but the front front part, it's it's changed. It's almost totally changed. The lights, the hood, um, the the bumper, the grill look different and nice. And also, it looks a little bit smaller. And the fact that they make it smaller, uh, they they work a little bit more on the aerodynamic. They make it much more like like an arrow you know and it helps a lot aerodynamic the car come with air suspension i will show you later and you can lower up the ground clearance and you can also higher up you have a button right there inside the car uh, if you drive on the highway and on the good roads i recommend you to drive down low as possible for a better consumption better aerodynamic if you drive off, off road bad roads pull it up and then you will be just fine uh, anyway Overall, I love the front of the car, beautiful design, much more modern. Uh, I think, of course, they can improve a little bit more. The exterior design, in my opinion, can look much better and even the back. But this car, it's crazy practical. And you can see the back of the car, it's, it's super big, this area here. The car is like a square. It make it have much more space inside. And we will go inside uh, and I will show you in a moment. Also, they add this chrome design around the windows right here uh, that make the car look a little bit uh, premium. Also, roof rails here are in the same silver color. Also, the handles, those are the new handles. I like them with this chrome design on the upper side. You can lock and unlock the car even on the all four doors. That's awesome. Um, then, the fact that I like very much and it's all on all these old terrain cars comes with this plastic here around the, the the edges of the wheels and this protect the paint in time uh, protect the car you can change those plastic very easily uh, and you will still be able to to own the car for many years those are really really practical from rust from stones from scratch from everything even on the door here in the back you still have it when you open the door if you hit something you don't care too much because you can change it very simply on the down part the same plastic here to protect the down part of the car uh, when you go off-road and yeah this is this is super practical the same story in the front here the same plastic right here uh, also I like very much the hood this is the new hood I like these bumps here these two bumps make it much more spectacular much more aggressively uh, then full LED light in the front turning signals, daylight, adaptive LED lights, everything, the, the latest technology, it's right here. Um, and then going in the middle here, we have the grill. I like very much the grill, although it looks very modern and nice. Uh, I like the way they combine this silver color with chrome. Um, here you have the camera because the car comes with 360 degrees camera. Uh, you have an amazing, amazing uh, view when you park the car i will show you later when we go inside here you have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake behind this big huge mercedes logo and then you have some air intakes here that allow the air to go to the to the engine even down here some kind of air intakes even on the down part you have this kind of a chrome design that looks pretty nice six parking sensors in the front those on the sides are used for the uh, blind spot technology that's also good and helpful and going on the side here to the mirrors uh, we have a nice mirror in glossy black plastic even the the leg here it's in glossy black plastic i like that nice shape pretty aerodynamic uh, led light turning signals you have the camera down here i don't know if you can see it down there is the camera under the mirror i think you can see it somewhere here uh, i will show you later how they work and then even here you have a big mirror, good visibility, blind spot technology, uh, you have it right here. Uh, and I like that they make it glossy plastic everywhere. That looks really good. Between the windows you have also glossy plastic, even here in the back. I like very much how they combine that with a little bit of rubber here between the windows. It looks really fancy, uh, pretty nice. And then going in the back, the same six parking sensors those sensors on the side are used for blind spot technology uh, on the down part it continuing with this matte plastic um, and you have some light reflectors and on the down part you have this chrome design almost everywhere then you have these exhaust pipes here that are actually fakes 
uh, exhaust pipes because the real one are somewhere under the car right there i think you can see it right now but other than that it looks quite quite nice i like the way it looks uh the bumper here in the back it's quite interesting not bad and on the same on on this area the same fake exhaust um going up a little bit and then you have also some kind of chrome here at the entrance in the car then you have the formatic some chrome design that go all through the back of the car e400d then you have the reverse camera that it's out right now usually it's hide inside here so you will have it clean all the time led lights on the number plate also very useful and overall this is the back of the car uh, also i like this shape of the roof spoiler the way they do it some kind of glossy black plastic here it make it looks really nice and also we have the the brake light led up here on the roof spoiler look pretty clean pretty nice classic 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 not big change from the previous version but still okay now here is the diesel tank and also the ad blue you have it here on the right side keep in mind and let's go to the rims talk a little bit about the, the rims and the tires here we have the continental tires winter tires 20 inch rims and we have these amg rims that you can buy it extra you can see it at the beginning at, uh, of the video the price uh, they look super nice i mean they fit perfectly with the car then you have these uh, ventilated discs in the back and in the front they are a little bit uh, bigger and not only ventilated you have cross drilled brake discs ventilated discs four pistons in the front on the brake calipers and also you have this mercedes benz logo right there writing splendid i mean the rims are are just perfect for this car really lovely if i will buy this car probably i will get it in other color maybe a white but still uh it's not bad it's not bad look really really good also the car come with the camera on the latest technology in terms of cameras right there on the windshield for lane assist for reading the traffic speed limit we have that sensors for light for raining and also if i'm not wrong this camera here it's able to to record while you are driving it you know like a dash camera anyway that was the exterior guys we will go inside uh before we go inside i want to show you the let me close the lights and also the turning signals because you already see it let me show you the engine bay first time where is that right here let's open this front interior it's impressive although if, even if the exterior is not super amazing the interior it's crazy also you have an automatic lift gate in the front here i like that it's easy to open and then Here's the engine, diesel engine, 2.9 liter, six cylinders in line. You can see it right here. Um, 330 horsepower, 700 Newton meters. Pretty impressive, powerful engine. Check out the test drive. I was really impressed. I mean, I love, I love uh, the way it's handling. And with that nine speed gearbox, G-Tronic is doing a great job. Really, really good job anyway we will go inside right now and we will check out the space in the back automatic lift gate also the camera was going inside um, here you have the buttons to close uh, you have also handles for manual close some light here and then you have this button here for the hook it's up here so if you press this button the hook will come out actually you have to wait a few seconds and you can see you don't even need to touch it i mean the hook it's come automatically you don't even need to touch it you want to put it back just hold this button again and then it's going alone inside there awesome huh i like that this is awesome now those are the numbers plate and here is the entrance we have this beautiful beautiful uh aluminium here at the entrance i love this i always love this aluminium at the entrance it make it look so premium so nice this is the entrance huge entrance in my opinion a lot of space here for for plenty of stuff you can carry a lot a lot of things here uh, without any problem you have a flat floor that's that's really amazing uh the flat floor make it uh make it put 
plenty of stuff easily and and the car it's pretty low so it's very easy to put your stuff right here i like it i mean it's just perfectly the way it is you have also this protection for the trunk right here that you can install it like that you can put it up if you want to let me show you anyway um anyway you have led lights here on the side pretty nice fancy led and also on the other side the yellow led lights you have the speakers right here on the on the last pillow right here it's it's quite impressive i don't know if you can see it but you have two speakers on the on the roof right here it's, it's impressive uh, to see that you have some buttons to fold down the seats i will show you later um, then you have some hooks for the grocery uh, hooks you have a 12 volt port right here on the right side some kind of elastics and then some hooks in every corner you have hooks 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 here is the medical kit and stuff like that and then i know you want to see what it's under the floor under the floor you have another huge space no spare tire here triangle repair kit all that stuff you can put it here also you have this plastic i don't know how this they call this um but it's good for grocery anyway perfect I think you just make an idea the way it looks the trunk and actually it's quite quite long and big and you can fit plenty 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 of stuff right here um, yeah guys let me take this protection out and then we will fold down the seats and we will see uh, the way it looks with seats folding down so I just take out that protection you can see it one more time before we fold down the seats so you can make a an idea the way it looks without that protection uh, it's pretty simple but I need two hands to put it down that way I uh, stop the video now you have this button here to fold down the seat look how easy it is to fold down the seats right there press the button in one second you have everything fold down one more time one second everything is flat out and it looks gorgeous gorgeous I mean you have a flat floor um, you can even sleep here it's incredible the quality on the ground it's perfect you have this glass roof that looks just phenomenal um, I love how much light come inside the car you have these big windows even here in the back the shape the windows everything look just fabulous the fact that you have a flat floor make it much more practical not only that the, the quality inside the car it's amazing but also the practicality and uh, the space here it's it's more than enough and it looks gorgeous let me go on the side let me show you also the way it looks from here big door huge entrance here um, I tell you it's a big car it's really really big look how much space you have here incredible incredible and even here you have high quality here really high quality uh, on this back of the seats and yeah even on the legs room guys look how much space you have here on the legs room it's incredible you can put a lot of stuff right here on the legs room really 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 practical i love it really like it i like what i see in terms of practicality it's incredible now i think sometimes i think that it's more space here than in an suv let me fold everything back and we will continue in the interior inside we talk a little bit about the doors we have a big window from two pieces one is fixed because in this way it allows the other bigger one to, to fall down all the way and going down here we have leather everywhere high quality leather uh, on the upper side you can see even the the stitches down here uh, so keep in mind that all over on the upper side it's leather and great quality then you have this kind of a wood insertion here uh, in the door chrome design right here look beautiful then you have the burnmeister speakers high quality sound inside the car uh, then you have even leather down here begin again with soft leather soft leather on the armrest so in terms of quality it's it's high class also you have the ambient light under here so it looks just fine i don't know if you can see it's a blue light ambient light in the doors in the back in the front crazy also the handle typical mercedes really beautiful really nice also the buttons in gray high quality on the buttons if you see if i fold down the, the windows it's fold down all the way down as i said before and it's work super super fast anyway 
some storage space down here in the door plenty of storage space and you have also a light reflection a light to to allow the other traffic participants that you have the door open at the entrance some kind of plate aluminum plate at the entrance right here and going inside huge entrance as i said before and i have to tell you guys it's incredible those seats napa leather seats are super high quality the seats are wide are long are big enough to give you the best comfort even here on the side you have leather uh, white stitches you can see great great quality here even on the side uh, and the shape of them it's unique it's just gorgeous i mean you can see it from close up a little bit they're they're beautiful you can install two child seats here in the back as well uh, nice line quite unique the shape of the seats but they are bright they are big they are just perfect here you have also two cup holders guys by the way in the front right here and then open this up plenty of space in the middle gorgeous love it love it love it love it love the way they look um, now behind the front seats you have kind of a plastic protection some storage space here in the both sides and for going forward here we have those vents pretty nice i always made it. mercedes make some beautiful beautiful vents here in the back then you have two usb c ports a 12 volt port here on this area you can also close it like that let me go inside now okay going inside super easy stay on those seats close the door by the way guys it's super noisy here plenty of cars there but when you close the door it's incredible i mean you cannot hear so much noise from outside you can hear me really clear that's incredible i mean the sound insulation is great uh, up here on the roof you have an led light yellow led beautiful hooks handle great quality on the roof this white roof it's it's beautiful i always like this white roof and even the glass roof man i mean it's it's phenomenal i mean in these sunny days when the sun come in it's beautiful now plenty of space on my knee and the seat in my driving position i drive the car before so you can see it one more time plenty plenty of space on my head i have a lot of space no complaining for me here um, great visibility on the windows wow wow i feel so good on those seats man i mean it feels beautiful i mean it's so comfortable they are perfect perfect wide perfect big it's just great great visibility on the windows as well i have perfect visibility no problem in terms of visibility uh, and also um, let me go in the middle you have a big transmission tunnel in the middle here but i go very easily once you're here well i like the way it looks you can see on the window and i like also those pillow pillow why they why i call them pillow because they are soft like pillow you know years ago all the car manufacturer make those headrest really hard but this time this now nowadays they make it like a pillow and when you sit here with your head like that oh it feels so relaxing i mean uh it's a great idea that they, they start to do it like that plenty of headspace also up here even if the roof with the glass was not here you still have plenty of uh, room on your legs as well plenty of room at least for me huge space love it anyway um we will go in the front and we will talk a little bit about uh the cockpit the steering wheel new steering wheel um multimedia system dashboard center console and all that stuff and then we will end up this video i have to tell you honest that mercedes really improved the interior i love the interior the exterior it's very similar with the previous version but the interior it's it's other it's other class anyway let's go inside we will talk about the door first time big window in the front great visibility in the mirror the same leather high quality on the upper side bornmeister speaker here the wood trim insertion heated seats ventilated seats electric adjustable seats uh, free position to save the memory of the seats ambient light inside the door right here on the downside leather leather very good quality handle uh, and then you have those buttons great great quality buttons when you touch them they they have such a good quality i love the way they feel electric adjustable mirrors from there you can see the buttons then going down you can open the trunk from here you have a cup holder here and some storage space and then you have another light 
reflector there. So the quality on the doors also very, very good. Going at the entrance, we have Mercedes-Benz here. This time it's an LED, beautiful in the nighttime, look gorgeous. Uh, then aluminum pedals, pedals are great. They feel awesome while you're driving. And then you have also this lumbar part to, to adjust it from there. But now look at the seats also uh, in the same, but not only the seats, look at the glass roof and look the way they look, the seats, beautiful, beautiful seats. They are super comfortable, those seats mega comfortable not so sporty but super comfortable i mean you have great comfort you have all though this uh, side support here but they are comfy heated ventilated seats amazing you can adjust even this part here you can make it smaller or bigger the way you want it electrically and yeah the quality is there uh, love them love them i mean mercedes always make high high quality here you have the parking brake electronic parking brake and here you have uh, the adjustment button for for the lights so you can adjust the lights ambient light of course here on the dash you can see it from here all over the dash you have ambient light and also on the doors um, then you have the same chrome design here same wood insertion all over the dash the dash also look really good the vents pretty nice not my favorite from Mercedes uh, the other one, the turbine one, were my favorites, but still look good and much better than many other. On the dashboard, leather, high quality leather, beautiful design, love it. And even this new steering wheel look, look gorgeous. Let me go inside. Oh, the quality, it's, it's mega good, super good on those seats. Uh, great, great visibility around the windows, even in the mirrors around the windows high quality visibility perfect visibility i mean it's perfect also you can see one more time the seats in the back there here in the middle you have leather very good quality you have stitches here on on the side down here you have carpet so you don't have any any plastic around here here you have a big space where you can put your stuff to usb c going forward here you have the the controller for the multimedia system you can control it very simple from here you don't even need to use the touch all the time uh, you can control it super super simple from here then you have the start stop engine button here is the button for the cameras while you're pressing this you can see this 360 degrees camera amazing resolution as i said before when i was outside uh, this car have that those cameras on the mirror in the back in the front so you can see what it's around the car and it's amazing i mean the resolution it's very very good even the trailer vision you have it right there even the the map up the ground and it's map up the ground while you're parking it's gorgeous then you have this uh air suspension as i said before you can lower the car or rising the car the speed has to be uh, under 35 kilometers and you can rise the car or load the car because the car is equipped with that or air suspension amazing amazing uh, suspensions then you can fold down the headrest here from the back the volume here for the sound then you have the different driving modes here so when you go in off-road plus the car will upper the suspension when you go in uh, off-road normal it's go uh, to lowering a little bit and then when you go in eco mode comfort mode sport mode sport plus depending which mode you are the car will uh, adjust the the different uh, settings to give you this kind of feeling that you choose to have then you have two cup holders the key right here you can leave it but it doesn't matter you can leave the key anywhere you, can, you have a wireless charging for your phone let me zoom in a little bit you can see better wireless charging place for your phone right here it's a pretty big place even for big smartphones a 12 volt port and usb-c right here um really helpful these days and super practical also you can close this like that if you want to have it closer then you have those shortcut buttons for the navigation system navi all you have to do is just press those button down here and it will go directly in the menu that you want the car here menu and you have here the head-up display by the way you can activate the head-up display and all that settings from here head-up display it's gorgeous one of the best on the market you can see it right there great resolution great colors i mean you have amazing amazing visibility uh, going forward um yeah the favorite 
blinkers and down here you have the climatic system controllers it's physical buttons i know many people love that press this menu you can also adjust it from here um, if you want just like that you can adjust uh, the things from climatic system from the screen you are you have also this uh, option so that's that's really awesome now going forward the glow box also very good quality even here it's soft material look at this soft ambient light in the dash here it's, many, it's too much sun today then you have pretty big glow box there you have a light you have even this place for perfume there it's also the perfume you can buy it from mercedes if you want to install it and then you will have a nice nice uh, smell inside the car perfume smell then i like this wood trim the way they combine the dashboard with the wood trim right here it's gorgeous also the vents right here look beautiful really beautiful um, then you have soft leather all over the dash really soft and nice you have a speaker big speaker there in the vents uh, on the dash and overall as i said and I, as you can see very good visibility around the car up here you have a nice mirror very nice tiny edges beautiful and also the visibility is gorgeous in the back because you have that big window then you have here glass support wow long time no see something like that glasses support here sos button then you have the ambient light also this beautiful light you can see it from mercedes it's like a like a beautiful beautiful high quality light in a hotel or stuff like that um, then here you have an led light mirror uh, microphone on the roof and then you have a handle perfect and then you have this button here where you can open up this let me show you you can open up this glass roof the first part and it looks gorgeous check this out you have this protection for insects right here really beautiful it looks looks nice it's great to have this um, i think it make a lot of sense to get this as an option if i will have to buy this car at this price i will totally get also the glass roof now let's go forward the steering wheel one of my favorite part beautiful beautiful very big here in this area so you have a great visibility on the cockpit great grip great quality um nice i like this big huge mercedes logo in the middle and i like those uh glossy plastic chrome design around here also the controllers right here for the uh different uh, functions on the cruise control for example here and this in this area also the the voice command and all that stuff also from here you can control uh, guys from those buttons you can control different function on the cockpit right there so you can have everything you want it's super customizable uh, in my opinion this is the best um, digital cockpit on the market because you have so many ways to customize it you can choose whatever you want to see in the middle here even the middle part you can customize and change what you like to see in the middle and even on the left side so one of the best look gorgeous 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 really guys i have a full review about this multimedia system from mercedes if you want to check it out look on my channel um, because i have the full review with multimedia system from mercedes pedals to change the gear manual if you want to they look nice they feel nice the gear shifter is here as i said before a nine speed gearbox g-tronic and here is the stick it's simple up down left right parking buttons right here press the park you are in park and overall perfect quality and also um, you want to see how it handles this steering wheel check out the test drive also from here you can adjust from this stick electrically you can adjust electrically the steering wheel up down left right it's perfect perfect good going forward yes multimedia system as i said you can control it from here or you can control it with the touch screen uh, anyway both work perfectly very responsive system here one of the best if not the best one on the market and yeah i have another video on my channel about that you have the telephone you have the navigation that it's also in my opinion one of the best here um, then you have also um, the radio uh, the media i will not going to go in detail right now comfort here you can change different things on the comfort ambient light inside the car you have different ambient light different colors you can choose yeah i don't want to make this video too long 
check out the other video guys with the multimedia system if you wanna find out more infos about that here is the vehicle information for example you have the energy flow you have the consumption you have the owner manual right here and all kind of stuff about the car and then you have the application here from the car and then you have the settings on the settings you have every single setting that you need uh, traction control manual if you want to change the gear manual you press this m right here uh, esp you can activate this activate turn it on and off lane assist um, this is kind of autopilot hooks you can take it out um, this is downhill assist like SUVs and then you have the head-up display you can activate and deactivate from here assistance systems right here cameras and stuff like that vehicle dynamic ambient light and system uh, you can change and you can customize the way you want the screen for example from here also here you can change however you like to see the trip the navigation whatever you want to see in the middle there so overall guys multimedia system you have the video already on my channel you can check it out uh, they are very similar on all the uh, mercedes the mbox multimedia system and i guess that was the video guys i hope you really enjoy it i hope it was useful for you if you want to see the test drive with this new e-class uh, combi all terrain check out on my channel uh, if it's not already there just click the subscribe button to see the notification when uh, the video will be posted um, as a conclusion amazing quality in the interior i love the interior i think it's almost perfectly the exterior of course they can work a little bit more the front look beautiful the back it's kind of classic but if we think about the purpose of the car the shape of the car uh, the, the design, it helps to have a lot of space in the interior because it's super practical. I mean, the space, it's incredible in the back. There are a lot of space and uh, the comfort on those seats, it's gorgeous. Uh, the price, it's, it's high, but I think it totally deserves what Mercedes did with those cars. It's just perfect. It's gorgeous. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. If you have questions, ask me anything you want. I answer to you. Also, thank you very much for watching um also don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel to see the latest cars that come on the market thank you very much for watching as always um stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys